Okay, so for this activity, you will need at least one die. But I was thinking if you really like this activity and you still wanted to do it, but you didn't have any dice at home, there are a few other ways that you could do this activity with the same kind of idea. So you could take just a regular um, deck of cards and you could take those face cards out and just use the numbered cards, make a stack, and then just draw your cards like that and add those together. If you don't have that, maybe you have any other kind of card game that has numbers on it, like maybe you have Uno. And again, you can just take out those special cards and just use the numbered cards and just draw again like that and add your numbers that way. Lastly, if you don't have any of those, you could just draw your numbers on a piece of paper, one through six, and then cut them up, fold them, and put them in any kind of container, and then you could draw your numbers that way. So if you really like this activity, but you didn't have dice at home, there are a few other options for you to do to still be able to do this activity. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our dice, and we're gonna roll two or three numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and do three. If two seems a little bit easier for you, then just stick with two. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and roll the dice. And the first number I got was, Say it to yourself. Six. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down on my paper, whiteboard. Okay, and we are going to be adding, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my plus sign so I don't forget it. I'm going to grab my dice and I'm going to roll it in. This time I got, say it in your head. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and write that number. Okay, how are y'all doing? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use our dice to make a number sentence. And we're, it said to add two or three numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and do three, but if you feel more comfortable with doing two, then go ahead and just stick to two. So I'm gonna take my die, I'm gonna roll it, and look at what number I got. I want you to say it in your head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Okay, and I know it's gonna be, I'm gonna be doing an addition sentence, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add my plus sign so that I don't forget. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my dice and I'm gonna roll it again. Okay, what did I get this time? Say it in your head. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and write my number. And since I'm doing three numbers, I'm gonna go ahead and do that plus sign, another one. Then I'm gonna roll one more time. And what did I get this time? Go ahead and say it in your head. Okay, and then I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write my equal sign. Okay, now before I try and solve this, let's think of some of those strategies. Do I see any doubles? No, no numbers are the same. Do I see any friends of 10? No, none of my numbers are friends of 10. So let's think of a different strategy that I could use. Maybe you could add this in your head, but just in case, it's a little bit difficult. You could use counters of some sort, or you can just always draw a picture. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my picture. So I'm gonna draw five dots here. One, two, three, four, five. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and draw two. So I'm gonna say one, Two. Now, since we're adding, I'm going to count all my dots together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put my marker on each dot as I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So five plus four plus two equals eleven. Okay, now that you've got your number sentence and you solved your problem, let's go ahead and look at the second part of that activity. So I want you to go ahead and go ask mom or dad or maybe brother or sister or grandma, grandpa, whoever's around you to do the same thing you did 
but this time they're going to add it together and then you guys are going to talk about and think about which number is greater. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to roll the dice again. What I get. Okay, I got one. Then again, I'm going to go ahead and add that plus sign up so I don't forget. Roll it again. This time I got... Okay, second plus sign. Then I'm going to go ahead and roll again. Okay, so now before I solve this one, think about those strategies that we talked about. Do I see any doubles? Yeah, good job. I see a double because five and five are the same number. Now, what is five plus five? Yeah, good job, it's 10. So now I can say 10 plus one. So then I can just count on and say 10, 11. Okay, so here's my first addition sentence, so yours. And here is my second one, a parent or someone in your house. And now we're gonna go ahead and compare them. Now, it's kind of funny that I rolled my dice and I got the same number. So you're gonna be looking at which number is greater. So talk with the person you did this with and try to figure out which number is greater. So remember that means bigger. In this case, my numbers, my sum was the same. So we would say those are equal. Neither one of my numbers is greater because they're the same. But when you do this activity, go ahead and look at the two numbers and figure out which number is bigger.